Okay, so that's a third term in the formula. What does it mean? So the, oops, sorry. Um, so the third term is just, um, the third term is the effect of UI on a tightness. So this is really how the policy of UI affects the labor market equilibrium, uh, the uh, equilibrium tightness. So at the micro level, uh, if we change UI, what's going to happen to the equilibrium tightness? And, and that term, that effect of UI on microeconomic variable also matters for the optimal level of UI. It's going to enter the formula. And again here, there are three situations that we've explored. Uh, so the simplest situation is where actually UI has no effect on tightness. That would be uh, the first uh, the first case. Okay. Um, so in theory, this could happen, say, in a matching model with rigid wage. So that would be a model in which you have that. Uh, we see right in the model with rigid wage, it uh, has no effect on tightness. That's if you think about theory. Uh, So this is a clearly a theoretical possibility. It's not something that can never happen. Empirically, how would you assess that? Well, you could look at the effect of tightness directly whether tightness responds. You could also measure this micro and micro elasticity. And so if the micro elasticity and the micro elasticity are the same, then this would also tell you that UI has no effect on tightness. So key bottom line in a situation like this is that again, that extra correction term in the formula, the term that corrects the Bellicelli formula will be zero, right? Uh, if we go back to this formula that we had, right, so this extra term that we have here, we can call this a correction term because it corrects, it corrects the Bellicelli formula, you know, that is, that is here, which is a standard kind of public finance formula. Which is well known in public finance and labor. Um, so if we have d theta d ui which is zero, that you know that second term in the correction term, the second factor in the correction term is zero, the correction term is zero. So uh, the key thing is that if UI has no effect on tightness, actually, once again, the Bailey-Chetty formula remains valid. And so what you learn in microeconomics or in, in public finance would still apply to a micro setup. Okay. What's the second possibility? The second possibility is that d theta d UI is positive. That is, when you increase UI, you also increase tightness. Tightness goes up when UI uh, goes up. Um, so is that possible in theory? Well, yes, as we saw, uh, this is exactly what happens in the matching model with job rationing. When you increase UI, the labor supply shifting, and then you move along your labor demand, which is a part, a, a part sloping.
Okay, and uh, you know empirically, one way to identify that is when the microelasticity of UI of unemployment with respect to UI is less than the microelasticity when micro when micro effects are dampened at the micro level. Okay, and so in that case, uh, of course, because that term is positive, then the Bellucci formula is not valid anymore. Bellucci formula has to be corrected. 